Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. This is kind of a weird uh, vlog. Um, I got this thing right here. Um, for those that do not know, I used to be Christian, Protestant, and then uh, I stopped believing in that stuff. And this is mainly the reason why I stopped believing in it, because uh, Christianity uh, no longer... Uh, concentrated on talking about Jesus Christ in the Bible it that story got too boring it's been told so many times uh, there's only so many times you could tell people Jesus loves you and all that stuff until people get bored and what I'm noticing is that we have this new thing called sexual secular Christianity and basically sexual secular Christianity is a uh, is not religious at all this is a uh, political this is about politics as you can read um, now I this is this was a newsletter that I used to get by uh, by dr. Jeremiah and this does not mean that I do not respect dr. Jeremiah um, as a preacher but what he is what he's turned into sadly is he's turned into a politician which is pretty sad um, that he was a religious figure and he turned into a politician or into a fear monger and uh, I still have a little bit of respect for him because he's very intelligent man um, he's very well spoken um, this is what churches are turning into um, they're no longer about Jesus Christ and saving people. Yes, they're going to have their uh, let us pray moments and uh, and all this other crap where they throw in the word God every once in a while. They'll probably throw in a verse to, uh, to, um, uh, to speak their points. But in no ways is this about Christianity. In no ways is this actually... A religion at all this is um, this is secularized Christianity and if you looked up the word sec secular it means it has nothing to do with religion so let's read this it says socialism what the hell does uh what does the Bible have to do with socialism um, if people didn't know that uh, Jesus Christ was very socialist, um, but they believe that he was not a socialist, they think he was a capitalist, which is not true because he gave, he fed uh, the people um, with uh, without charging them. So he's more Jesus Christ was more social, more socialist than capitalist. If if uh, he was a capitalist he would have instead of uh, breaking bread and fish and feeding the masses fish and bread he would have charged um, he would have charged the people for the fish and bread and also he would have charged for his services and he probably Jesus Christ if he was a capitalist he probably would have wrote a book and have his followers buy it Jesus Christ in no way was a capitalist. He was actually very, um, very generous, and he was, uh, he was all about giving everything away for free and not using money. So, and he was also anti-government. Jesus Christ was anti-government, and he was pro-God. So, what he didn't realize is that these people these preachers are pro government or pro nation they are nationalist jesus christ was not a nationalist he did not believe in a nation he only believed in god and uh one world with god all right so let's read this a little bit a deadly virus is quietly spreading throughout our nation it is far more lethal than covid-19 most Americans are totally uh, unaware of the threat that it possesses to our freedom and the way of life. Now you see that's fear mongering right there. That's already pe that's already trying to put fear into people. 
They say a deadly virus is quietly spreading throughout our nation. You hear that? That is fear mongering. That is causing people to fear for their life. They say a deadly virus is quietly spreading throughout our nation. That is a threat to human life. A deadly virus and it's and he then states or whoever wrote this states it is far more lethal than COVID-19. So that means it is more deadly than COVID-19. And most Americans are totally unaware of the threat that it possesses to our freedom and way of life. This disease is called socialism. And today socialism controls one third of the world's nations until recently. Socialism has been considered public enemy number one by americans that is no longer in the case all right man what does this have to do with jesus christ they're not just mentioning that jesus christ um uh, used to give um free food to people and he used to feed his disciples for free and he never charged them for anything so th I, what i'm meaning is he did not charge them money to uh, learn Jesus Christ didn't need a church he didn't need a he didn't need a like a, what is it called uh, where you speak a place where to speak he would just preach out in the out on the earth he did not actually need a building and he started his ministry in a church ironically but he realized that when he went to the church, there was nothing but uh, false believers there. And this is what is going on with Christianity right now. It has become secular Christianity. Now, do I wish bad on Dr. Jeremiah? Hell no, I, I think he's pretty smart. But you know what? He's paranoid. He's paranoid and he has millions, probably hundreds of thousands of followers. And guess what? They're Trump supporters. Now, I'm not political. I'm not right wing or left wing. I'm not a liberal. I'm not um, conservative. So I am biased. I'm not biased, I mean. So to see this is pretty sad that the people that are leading these people astray are actually people that should be talking about Jesus Christ. And you know what? You know what is actually screwing this guy up? Is the news. The news is what's causing fear to him. And then he is throwing that fear back at at his people now this crap has nothing to do this whole socialism thing has nothing to do with jesus christ it has nothing to do with it it's secular so that's what it is secular religion and look he says the set he says you can further the worldwide outreach of dr jeremiah's jeremiah's uh new prophecy teaching by pre-ordering his new book set. That was something that I noticed. Um, with a lot of preachers. They are just there to sell you books man. It's pretty bad. That um, people do not realize. That these guys are just authors man. These guys. Um, I don't think they actually believe in God. I honestly don't think so. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but it's loose. They're, these guys believe more in writing books and getting a bunch of people to buy them. And it's a... I used to be like that back in the day until I woke up and I realized, you know what, there is no God. Um, because look around, man. No one believes in him. Everybody has a different type of belief. Even within Christians, there are different uh, there are different opinions, and everybody only believes what they want to believe. So that's just my little rant right there. Um, 
it's not meant to like uh to take away from people's religion but it's kind of sad that this is this is what christianity has become secular christianity it no longer shows uh it no longer about jesus christ